What's up, movie peoples? We're just gonna continue on, like always. Nothing new. Um, I got this, uh, at Goodwill. It was $3 and, like, 30 cents. Uh, the Gladiator. Now, I know I already had it up there. But this is the, this is one's different. This is the, uh, two-disc. It's like that. Um, which, I, it, it was like, had a, absolutely no scratches on the back. So I was like, I, I'm getting it. And, uh, I got this one at Walmart, uh, Office Space. Um, never seen it. I know Mike Judge from the Beavis and Butthead. He, like, voices them. Uh, I know he had something to do with this. He he was the director, and and I know that Jennifer Aniston is in it also. But that's all I know about it. Something about their job or something. And I also got Family Guy Blue Harvest. Um, I don't know. I just know it's Family Guy in some way. Uh, that's all I know. It's like Star Wars. I don't know. I thought it'd be funny, so I got it. And the next one I have to show is uh, The Natural with Robert Redford. Um, Robert Duvall is also in it. Um, Glenn Close, Wilford Brimley, Barbara Hershey, Robert Prosky, Richard Farnsworth. Uh, Richard Farnsworth was the guy in Misery. He, he's the guy who tried to save uh, James Caan. You know who that is. Um, there's the case thing. This is like this. This was a pretty good movie. Uh, it's like this guy who's very good at baseball, and he falls in love with this girl, and he starts sucking, and he goes through all these other problems. I, I don't know. I watched this in school in seventh grade, so about two years ago. Um. And I liked it enough to get it, so, yeah. There that is. And the next one I have to show is Natural, all right, Natural Born Killers. Um, starring Woody Harrelson, Juliette Lewis, and Tommy Lee Jones, and Tom Sizemore, I think. Yep, Robert Downey Jr. is in it, actually. Uh, this was good. It was fine. I didn't care for it too much. Um, this is definitely not one on my top list of Oliver Stone films. Uh, I mean, it was just too weird. And, uh, And this is the movie that involved all those killings, like, um, that's what it looks like, uh, like, this, like, inspired a lot of, uh, killings and stuff, and the part that I really liked is the part where they're interviewing it, these people, and they're, and they're all like, natural boy killers rock, and, um, uh, they're like, they're just, like, inspired by these guys, and they want to kill because... I, I thought that was cool. But other than that... No. I didn't really care for it too much. Um, um, Oliver Stone films, I like The Doors. The Doors was good. Um, I don't know. Um, New Jack City. Um, this is the one uh, where they're dealing drugs and all that, and that cops out to get, get him, uh, played by Ice-T, um, and Wesley Snipes, or not, yeah, Wesley Snipes is, Nino Brown, and, yeah, I can't really remember it. Um, look how worn this, worn out this thing is. Look at that. Look at the binding. This is about the bad as. Uh, yeah. yeah, but 
This was pretty good. I actually really like this one. Uh, can't really remember it too much. Hold on. Will somebody answer the effing phone? That's what I have to say right there. <laughs> yeah, New Jack City. Good, good film. I, li I, re I really liked it. Um, I need to get to two-disc edition because there is one, and this one's just wearing out. Look at the binding, I mean. But I can't really... I suck, right? I suck at plot. I can barely remember this movie at all. Nothing in common. I think I went over it already, though. Back when. So, yeah, I have that movie. Uh, the number 23. This one... Jim Carrey should just stick to his comedy, I think, because I really didn't care for this too much, but it was okay in a way. Um, I don't know. I don't, this had like a dark side to Jim Carrey. I don't know. But he can do it. He can do drama. He can seriously act, but, um, I just, I don't want to approve of it, um. Uh, this was done by New Line Cinema, um, it was 2007 film, um, he, like, so, there's this dog or something, and, I can't, yeah, I'm not even gonna try and waste my time, I have it though, and this one's a classic, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, um, this is the, uh, two disc, I haven't even opened it yet, it was on sale for nine ninety nine. Um, I haven't opened it yet. Like I said, um, I've seen it before. Uh, R. P. McMurphy, um, Jack Nicholson. He goes to this um, mental this nut house, um, and they find out he's really not crazy because he's like a little too. A little too smart to be crazy or whatever. Um, and, like, certain things happen, like, he wants to see the World Series. And he tries to get all the mental patients to what, raise their hands. And it's sad because he tries to convince them to raise their hands. And some of them do it, but other others are just, like, jumping around. Going, and it's sad. Um, but it is very, very good. It, it's good. It's very good. Um, and I saw, I saw it on my other edition, the one, the one disc, but that's, I didn't, I haven't even opened this one yet. I haven't really, I mean, I already seen it, so. And this one I saw on Golden Pond, I saw this in eighth grade, um, it's just the story of an old couple, and uh, played by Jane Fonda, or no, no, Catherine Hepburn and Henry Fonda, and Jane Fonda comes to visit them, which is his, their daughter, and she has a new, she's just about to get married, I believe, or she, she doesn't know about it, I don't think, and it's that person is played by um, what's his name? Dabney Coleman, who was in um, such films as Nine to Five, Tootsie, um, War Games, and he also has um, he's starting to get Alzheimer's. The old man, uh, Henry Fonda, because he can't find his way back to the house, and just certain things happen in. And she, uh, Jane Fonda has a son, Billy, I believe, or something. And he's like the smart mouth guy, and they go fishing and all this, all this stuff. It's good. It is good. I remember, um, a lot of my class did not like that film. But, well, me and my friend did, and a couple others did, but a lot of the girls didn't like it. I don't know why, they're just who they are. Um... Open Range with Kevin Costner, Robert Duvall, and Anna Benning. This is very good. Um, very good. Um, it's like an old West kind of story thing happening here. Um, 
Oh boy. Annette Benning plays this doctor, or whatever, and Kevin Costner and Robert Duvall are these two drifter type people with this with these two other people. Something like that. Oh boy. Yeah, but I have an open range. I give it two thumbs up. It was very good. Um very slick. If that makes any sense. Um